Yo, what's up? What's good? I am back again with another tutorial, and this time we're doing an ashtray. So this is more of like a novelty ashtray, you know, when you're just kicking it and the homies come over, you just like pull this out, set it down, and like, what up? I made that. And then they'll freak out like, no way, dude. But yeah, <laughs> this is for that occasion, you know, just in case that ever happens to you. But uh, <laughs> this one is super easy, just like my last one. I wanted it to match the sash jar, so it's still the same exact feel. But this one has a cute little daisy eyeball thing. I don't know. I just seen this in my head and was like, I should. Put, this would be perfect for an ashtray. So yeah, very simple and very easy to do. So here's how you do it. I got this ashtray at Family Dollar, and you get three in a pack for one dollar. And I'm also using neon bright colored polymer clay that I got at Joann's. You're going to need a lot of clay for this project. So I'm starting off by taking these big chunks and then rolling them out into thick logs. You want them all to be pretty similar in like shape and thickness. And just keep on stacking them up. All right, now I'm gonna slice this half off, squish all of these colors together, start rolling it out, kind of like a candy cane, and then twisting it. I'm stretching it out super long too because I really want this one to be really trippy, you know, like uh, really intense with all of the lines. Like the more you play with it and pull on it, the more intense it's gonna be. Just try not to mix the colors because if you start mixing it, then of course it's just going to turn into one solid color. So you don't want to like condition your clay at all. You just want to roll it around. Now I'm taking this, uh, what is this called? This tool. I don't know, this flattening, this rolling tool and flattening out my clay. <laughs> Sorry, I suck at voiceovers, but you know, I try, okay? This roller was starting to mix my clay and you can kind of see how it's smudging it and it looks really ugly on this side but when I flip it over the colors are still vibrant just how I want them and not mixed. Now I'm adding that sheet of clay into the bottom of the ashtray and just flattening it out trying to get it like smooth as possible but if you have to bend your clay um, it actually blends in really nicely, and it still has that trippy effect to it. Cut off any excess clay. We're going to cover that patch up later. I had a few air bubbles, but I just popped them and then let all the air out and then smooth out my clay. Next, I'm going to do the exact same thing, but I'm going to make a smaller sheet of clay just to wrap around the inner brim of the ashtray. I'm mixing my clay in a different method here. Last time we did like the candy cane, and this time I'm just adding three strips and then three strips over here and then swirling them into a ball and then swirling them together and you could see how it came out completely different and I love how this one came out. Now rolling and flattening it out into like a strip of bacon. Look how dope this looks. Ugh, I wish I could eat this. Bet I'd trip fucking balls too. Now I'm going to securely add it onto the ashtray just by pinching it and pushing it into the clay and you can kind of see how it's like indenting and making those swirly lines and that's just really securing it and making sure it all holds together. Now getting rid of all that excess clay. I was thinking about just leaving the ashtray like this but then I thought hey I should just do the whole thing you know go all out. So grab some more clay and let's get to it. Do the exact same thing. And I really liked how the other method where I took these um, three pieces and then added them together into a ball, then rolled it out. I really loved how that turned out. So that's my favorite method. And then you could just like pinch and twist and scrunch your clay to get different uh, wavy effects. Look how fucking sick that looks. I love this shit. 
I'm going to roll out my clay until it's just the right thickness. I don't want it to be too thin or thick, and it also has to be long enough to wrap all the way around the circumference of the ashtray, you know? Be very gentle with your clay. You don't want it to rip or anything, and if you're super gentle, you could stretch it, and if it's pretty warm, you can manipulate it very easily. Now I'm going to wrap it all the way around my ashtray, and if it rips, it actually comes out pretty cool, so don't even worry about it. Just make sure you blend it in and really secure it just by, you know, pushing down on it, and it'll stick because there's oil in the clay, so you don't have to worry about it, like, falling off or anything. So yeah, just keep pushing it, but try not to smear your clay either. You know, you got to be gentle. <laughs> Cutting out this clay, it revealed the coolest layers of all of these intense colors, intense, beautiful, vibrant colors. It was awesome. So to smooth the, those out, I just like pinched them and I still wanted them to keep that shape just in case I ever did like put a blunt in there or something. Keep smoothing it out until you're happy with the way it looks. Now to get started on our centerpiece of the little eye daisy, I'm taking this white glitter clay that I got at Joann's and it's so pretty, like it has glitter mixed inside of it. So I'm just doing an eyeball shape, uh, pretty self-explanatory here. Try to get it as symmetrical as possible and if your clay gets dirty, gets any little dust specks in it, I like to use a 100% acetone nail polish remover to clean out my clay. And I do this before I bake it. Now to make the pretty little petals, I'm taking all of the colors of the rainbow and I am I rolled out little balls like all the same size and everything. And now I'm going to make them into little teardrop shapes or little alien heads, whatever way you want to look at that. I wish I like added little alien eyes to all of them. That would have been super cute like if all the petals had eyeballs too. Mm. Next time for sure. <laughs> Now here comes the fun part, adding all your petals together and bringing this flower to life. Now taking some acetone, I'm going to use it to blend and smooth the clay together. Once you have it all smoothed out, you can add it into our ashtray, finally! Make sure it's firmly and securely in there. Add your glittery eyeball on top. And now, to make the iris and the pupil, I am taking some silver glitter clay, cutting a cross, and then another cross to make this star shape. Now taking black clay and then rolling that out, like flattening it, <laughs> and then adding it right on top of that bad boy. Super easy, you know? Cool. Next, I rolled out a tiny strip of white glitter clay, now cutting tiny pieces, then adding them to the pupil, but you could see that I'm gradually getting smaller with each and every dot. If your clay gets dirty at all, just use acetone. And now you can add it onto your eye and it's almost done, but she's looking a little naked, so you know we have to give her some eyelashes. So I rolled out a black strip of clay and just, I mean, obviously I just cut out little <laughs> rectangles and then attached them on. This is fun. This was like giving eyelash extensions <laughs> to a little flower. It was awesome. <laughs> You don't want any of these to fall out, so be sure that you secure them just by pushing them into your clay. Don't squish them, but just like push them in. This came out so sick. 
Once you're ready to add it into the oven, I put mine on for 185 and let it sit in there for about half an hour. I'm going to add a colored rhinestone onto every petal. I have a pink one, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple, and I'm using super glue to attach these. If you're wondering where I got these rhinestones from, they were the baby mix. Like, there are all these pastel, pretty-ass rhinestones. And I got them off of eBay, I think, for $1.99. And I only got 30 of them. But they're so cute. I love them. And finally, we reach our last step into glazing the whole damn thing. And you can see one of my eyelashes <laughs> completely fell off. So be sure you secure yours. I ended up going back in with super glue and then gluing them down. But yeah, just glaze the whole thing. This part is super relaxing and so pretty because um, the whole ashtray starts sparkling because there's kind of glitter got, got in it. But yeah, this is really pretty, so glaze the whole thing. I didn't want to. I, li I like the matte look, but I'm really happy I glazed it after. And you know, this is like a novelty ashtray. You can put, like, your cigarettes out in it if you want to, but I don't know. It's up to you. <laughs> Nothing would happen, though, if <laughs> you put your cigarettes out in it. Are your blunts? Just saying. And here's the finished product. Just look at it. Just look at all those colors. Like, what is even going on when you stare into this thing? I'm so happy, and I hope you guys like this. This is really fun to do, and I have a few more ideas like this. I have, like, a theme going. I have the stash jar, now the ashtray. I hope... I hope you like that. Super easy to make, you know what I mean? Uh, follow me on Instagram, and yeah, that's the only social media I have right now is Instagram. So follow me at a Locatone, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.